this is probably going to make a good thumbnail. NVIDIA GPUs are now below MSRP, not for every single one of them, but for some of them. But you should probably do this or whichever way I did it. That means stop. Don't buy a GPU. I know uh, Jay's Two Cents recently did a video saying, eh, maybe now is a pretty good time to buy, but I'm not so sure. Prices have been going down really, really hard. It's obvious every single entity that's associated with actually selling the GPU from stores to the distributors to NVIDIA and AMD themselves. Now, everything applies to AMD as well. They're in a similar boat as NVIDIA. Now, they want to sell you these GPUs now because they have loads and loads of stock. Jay's Two Cents said, it was a pretty good time to buy but i'm gonna a little bit disagree with that i think that we should continue to wait after prime day which was amazon's day of sales we saw many other companies that weren't amazon take advantage of it as almost like a black friday type of day in order to really heat up on the discounts i mean the gpus are much lower now than we've ever seen them before you can basically find something like this at 3080 ti for 900 and something dollars under a thousand dollars this is basically brand new remember msrp of a founder's edition 3080 ti which everybody loved to get last year was 11.99 that's a lot more expensive than you can get this third party tough 3080 ti this is a pretty much even under the msrp or the price that we saw for the 3080 12 gigabyte which has been much harder to find lately because i guess nvidia probably stopped producing that one as much doesn't make any sense when a 3080 ti is pushing down so hard of course the high-end gpus is where you're going to find the biggest price reductions it's going to be a little bit trickier to find them as you go down the product stack but of course even the 3090 ti which is a brand new gpu it came out just a few months ago earlier this year even the founders editions are already on discount by almost 500 dollars at best buy and pretty readily you can find these around 1500 dollars 500 to 700 dollars below their original price just back in january now, there are going to be many reasons for this. There was a almost sudden sort of disappearance of demand. Maybe it was cryptocurrency mining. Maybe it was the general economy. But definitely, there's a lot lower demand right now. And the retailers, you know, third-party suppliers and NVIDIA and AMD are definitely feeling the pressure. This is probably even the reason why we've barely seen, like, the Intel GPUs. We thought they were going to launch at some point to be sort of competitive with the market. But it seems like they pretty much disappeared and or sort of just delay their products for the future. Priced pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be VIP-CDKDeals.com. Very simple process. You can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key. And remember to use code CC20 for a nice discount. These GPUs are getting under MSRP. That's just pretty incredible to say. Just a year ago in 2021, we saw many of these prices not only at MSRP, but at considerably more than MSRP. I mean, even in a retail store, when you can find it in stock, that is, sometimes you wouldn't even find these overpriced GPUs, you would find something like a 3080 Ti for almost $2,000. In fact, the Strix version was over $2,000 for a long time. Now, it's gone down a tremendous amount. That's literally a thousand and something dollars off. So that's a pretty crazy markup on these GPUs. And while the other GPUs that maybe more people would be willing to buy, like a 3070, 3060 Ti, they haven't had the seeing drastic price cuts definitely they've gone down and much closer to their msrp i wouldn't say they're under msrp across the board like it might still be a little difficult to find a 3070 for under 499 you can definitely find them sometimes in like the 400 range but that's going to be more the territory of like a 3060 ti the 3060s should be well under 400 now but should be fairly easy to find a 3070 at that 499 to 600 mark depending on if you want something like a basic or maybe be a founder's edition or something a little bit more snazzy like a third party for the one three or something like that so now many retailers they're having sales they're throwing in free shipping you're getting free bundle items but let's remember what these same retailers a lot of the time did to the consumer just last year you had to buy expensive bundles like remember the evga bundles with ant online you had to get a keyboard a mouse a power supply sometimes even a, an intel cpu just in order to be able to have the privilege to buy the gpu and so they could sell those items and not necessarily have to say they're scalping or charging more for the gpu but you would pay maybe like eight to nine hundred dollars for a 3060 ti just because you had to bundle in all of these things that maybe you didn't even need 
need. Sometimes it could have been useful if it was high quality, like an EVGA power supply or something like that, but I think you would rather pay 400 bucks for a 3060 Ti and then go get your own components that you choose. You'll probably come out much better ahead. So let's not forget that they certainly did that to all of the consumers. And now the opposite is happening. Instead of you know charging for these bundled items, sometimes you're gonna get them included for free to get you to buy the GPU, look at it as almost like a discount without having to discount the actual amount on the product. They're also doing free shipping before they would generally always charge you for free shipping, like on the EVGA website, for example, when you order something. So definitely really big difference compared to last year. So why should you continue to hold off? Why would I disagree with Jay's two cents video? Of course, if you're seeing these prices and you think, oh, under a thousand dollars for a high-end 3080 Ti, that seems like a pretty good deal. And going back to what we really wanted in the beginning, which was that 699 3080, that was great performance for 699 at the time. At 699 for a 3080, many more people could actually get into very high-end gaming without breaking the bank over a thousand dollars. But those dreams quickly diminished with all of the GPU drivers routes that we had and that 3080 quickly turned into 12 1500 sometimes on the second hand market even two thousand dollars so it definitely eclipsed any sort of hope for affordable high-end gaming for most people now this 3080 ti under a thousand dollars that's certainly getting closer but it's way too late in the game that's why i disagree with jay's two cents if this was last year maybe that would have been much better people would have really enjoyed having these gpus when they're much earlier in the cycle but now we have the literal announcement of RTX 4000 any month now. We're already basically in July. It could be maybe in August, September. We could see some GPUs towards the end of the year. As soon as they're announced, you can bet these prices are going to drop like a rock. If you think a 3080 Ti for, I don't know, 900 and something dollars is cheap now, if they announce a 4080 or 4090, depending on what the MSRP price is, this GPU is going to drop even further. I would guess probably in that eight to $700 range therefore pushing everything else down. After all, a 3080 Ti has very equal performance to a lot of things around it. The 3090 if you go up in one direction, and the 3080 is not too far behind if you go back a little bit for a lot cheaper. That price will get a lot cheaper. We've seen 3080s already in the $500 range if you look on the second-hand market. Imagine after a 4090 is announced, you're going to be able to pick up 3080s for likely under $500. Now, of course, this is assuming we don't have any weird weird events that we've had a lot of during the last several years that could drive prices up. Like if you guys remember when the 2080 Ti people were selling for $500 in anticipation of a 3070, that quickly turned around because of all the GPU shortages and that 2080 Ti shot right back up to around $1,200. It's original MSRP. So something like that could definitely happen, but going with the current trends that we're experiencing, I think as soon as RTX 4000 is announced, that's going to be the the next step in this when it's announced without even having to come out prices are going to drop even further and you're probably going to regret paying 900 something dollars for a 3080 ti even now if you wait a few more months that's going to be a lot cheaper and of course everything else like a 3070 3060 ti and amd gpus as well those are all going to be pushed down as the high-end gpus like the 3090s get closer to 1200 and a thousand dollars that means naturally everything else has to get squeezed into being much cheaper because because why would you pay six or seven hundred dollars for something like a 3070 or 3080 when you can get a 3080 Ti for like a hundred dollars more or two hundred dollars more or something like that? So it's going to squeeze all these prices down, so everything is going to get cheaper, and that's going to be happening very, very soon. They don't even have to release the RTX 4000; just a pure announcement should do the trick. But I will warn you guys, it could be a little bit of a bumpy ride. I don't think NVIDIA is going to release a huge amount of RTX 4000, judging by the huge amount of stock that they have of RTX 3000. Even YouTubers like Moore's Law is Dead, who has his own insider sources, have said they're sitting on a lot of high-end GPUs, making it a lot harder to sell RTX 3000 now, especially in comparison to the release of RTX 4000. So it may even be sort of a paper launch. It may be hard. They're probably going to release the high-end 
ones first, like a 4090 and 4080, and then the 4070 and 4060, which is really going to be sort of the meat and potatoes, the one that people really buy in much greater numbers. Those likely will be pushed back to sometime next year in order for the RTX 3000 series sales that are currently, you know, overstocked pretty much at every single retailer for that to sort of catch up and at least they equal out a little bit. So I think this is going to be a long road ahead. I don't think RTX 4000 simply comes out in the fall and 3000 is old news and you can get it for cheap and then 4000 is the thing that everybody buys. I think it's going to be a very staggered release. A lot of people are probably going to end up buying RTX 3000 series at a discount and the closer you get to RTX 4000 releases, like I said, that discount is going to get even greater than we're seeing now. That's why I don't agree you should buy now. You should wait. Now we're too deep into it. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. I think you should hold off. What do you guys think down in the comments? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.